the official countdown to Christmas and I'm so 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 excited. This is a vlog, no it's not a main channel, like main channel, you know what I mean, I've a sit down video. I'm just sat down on my floor and the camera is down because my arm aches. But anyway, so yes, I'm so so excited. If you know me, you know Christmas is my absolutely favourite time of the year. Um, I'm just basically still got quite a lot of work on up until the 10th of December and then I can relax a little bit more. I had my last mock exam today but I've now got three more Trinity exams um, at my at school PQA and my practical drama exam at school um, for A levels to go. Um, and I've got kind of a lot of other stressful things going on um, and then I can kind of relax a bit more. But what it's going to be is, because I'm so busy and the main reason is because I go to college, um, I can't film every day and there just wouldn't be enough content so I'm going to do a weekly vlog and it should be uploaded on this Sunday night if all goes to plan. So this one's only going to be like a three day vlog but then the rest are going to be like the full seven days of the week. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Yes, uh, video wise, um, I haven't uploaded for about two months now and that is because I have been busy and I've been so stressed out but as it's my favourite time of the year and I kind of failed on Christmas videos last year I really want to do Christmas videos well this year on my channel so yeah hopefully it all goes to plan and yeah and I will start with the vlog sorry I haven't like I said sorry I haven't been here for two months and do you know what the last time I vlogged when was the last time I vlogged like full on proper vlogging was probably last year so um yeah we'll see how it works out right so my room is an absolute tip like it's absolutely that messy that i'm actually ashamed to show it so i'm not going to but all i can say is that i can literally not walk around my room and it looks absolutely awful so i'm just going to show you the upper half of my room my advent calendars it is currently 10 to 9 and I've not opened them today, like 10 to 9 in the evening, like usually I open them as soon as I wake up, but I wanted to film it and I was watching in the morning, so this year I've got, we're going to flip the camera around, so this year I have two advent calendars, I've got a chocolate one, it's my Malteser, it's the one I have every year, it's my fave, and I also got the number 7 advent calendar, now I got the one in 2015, loved it, still actually got some of the products now, um, but the packaging weren't the best. Didn't get it last year because it had practically the same products as 2015. This year I did get it because it had different products. The packaging, can I may I add, is so good quality. It just, it feels so, it feels very, can you hear it? That material. And it looks gorgeous. <laughs> look how pretty it looks. Oh, I'm going to open it. It's going to stay. Just look how nice it is. Um, £40 from Boots. I'm pretty sure they sold out now. I got it on a pre-sale. Because um, I know they literally all sold out instantly. Um, so yeah. We're going to go ahead. And I can't balance this anywhere. So I will show you once I've opened it. The day one. And I got a mini sample of a serum. Um, but it's a very good sample. It's 5 millilitres, And it's the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum Suitable for Sensitive Skin. And it says for best you... Results use morning and evening, avoid contact with eyes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just looks like it's a serum, but I do love my serums. Serums, um, it is for like women or or older. Um, but I've always just used serum like round my eyes, um, so that's why serum lasts me absolutely ages because I don't put it all over my face. So it's the next day, it's Saturday, and I'm actually looking a bit more decent. Um, so I've just got back from PQA and I'm about to go out to town because I've got some stuff to take back to new look. I've got a red jumper somewhere and a top which here. So I'm taking back this red jumper and this top because this top as much as I like it. I need to fold this up before I take it back actually. And it's just dropped on the floor. Lovely. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll insert a picture on the screen now. It just doesn't really fit well. And this red jumper, I love, but it's just really cropped. And when it's cropped, I mean, it's like, it's up to here. Um, and I'm a short person, so um, if you were any taller, it would probably sit on your bra. That's how short it is. So um, I'm not going to keep that because it's not going to keep me warm. But I did keep um, a few other stuff, but... One of my favourite things that I did keep was this red jumper. So it has got bat wing seat, no balloon sleeves, um, and yeah, again, it's it just sits like on the waist, and I love it, and I've already wore it a few times at school. Um, so I'm taking that back, and I'm just getting some Christmas cards because apart from that, I finished all my Christmas shopping. I've done the last ordering today in my advent calendar. I got. Um, the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream. Now, I actually got this two years ago, um, 
that I still have it, like the old one, because I take it whenever I go on holiday. Um, so yeah, that will keep me for another year. And I actually really like this. Cool, and I had chocolate like usual. I am quickly getting ready and I won't vlog in town, so I'll see you when I get back. Plus, when I said my room was um messy, um it's actually a little bit tidier than it was um yesterday when I said it was messy. So yeah, that's when I meant it was messy and it's just messy everywhere really, so I also need to tidy it up today. Oh, and you know what actually I also need to do? I need to change my calendar. Yes, that decoration is fell down. I'm decorating the rest of my room today. I did a bit of it and it is Ron Weasley. What a guy. So it's now the evening. It is I'm a celeb time. Um, oh, this is coming out of quality, out of focus really easily. So yeah, I didn't vlog around the shops, but basically what we did is we just, I went to take back a parcel to new looks and returns. And then I picked up a collection and then I went to the card factory to get some cards. I went to Superjug to pick up the L'Oreal blemish mask. I think I've now got the complete collection apart from the yellow one. Um, but I love all the, the green, the red and the black one. So I obviously have a lot of blemishes. This is going out of focus really easily. So I've been wanting to try this for ages. So I got this for £6 on offer. Um, and then I kind of looked to HMV which I haven't been to for years because I wanted to try on some headphones because my ones actually let me get them out for you I'm gonna go to a really bad angle now and everything just fell absolutely brilliant I've had these for oh let's get back up I want to say like five four years and they're like obviously they're purple but they're just chipping away and they've completely had it I love them while they last but I just Every single time I wear them, purple bits just drop off. Um, so I was looking at some, and I think I'm going to get some Sony ones. Apart from what I've just got home now to look on Argos. They're like so much cheaper in Argos. So I'm definitely going to get some there. So that was successful. Um, and then we wandered up to the Christmas market in Leicester. It took us ages to find it because we didn't know where it was. And then it was in the most obvious place. It was behind the usual market. We didn't think to look there first. So we went to Costa and I tried their mint hot chocolate. It was so, so, so nice. I've got my Costa cup and I'm loving the designs this year. They look like they've gone a lot more fancier. I got the gingerbread design. Um, my mum had the black forest hot chocolate, which I've also liked. But yeah, that mint one was so nice and I've had it before. Anyway, my only downside is I've opened my parcel. I got two things from my sister for Christmas from New Look, so I ordered it online. One of the things is successful, the other thing isn't. It's a candle. I'm going to whisper because she's in the next room next door. Um, but basically, online, one, it looked... So when it came, I've opened it now. It's really small, but it was advertised as looking big. It smells horrible. And basically, what it looked like, or said it was as well, an engraved candle, like, with the initial so S for my sis um well for my sister which is Sophie if you don't know. Um but it's literally just a peel on sticker that was half coming off so that's going back. And it also like it was just really tattered. It literally looked like a kid did it. Um and then the other things that I actually bought for myself to kind of get up to food delivery were these ear cuffs that have turned out to be ear rings. So I'm really annoyed because basically if you don't know I don't have my ears pierced I don't really intend on getting them pierced not anytime soon anyway um, and I bought ear cuffs from New Look and from Boohoo before and they're noted as ear cuffs um, so you just slip, like, stick them on here and you don't need like the actual pierce, pierce, piercing sorry. Um, and then when I bought these on New Look like it literally says in the description nothing about being an earring all about an ear cuff and the picture doesn't even like show the earring bit in um, got them home, literally just opened the packet, I haven't put them in, and just noticed these little two bits here. Um, looked at the returns policy and apparently you can't return earrings. Hopefully I can though because these have not gone in my ear because the reason I bought them was because I thought they weren't earrings. And I obviously can't put them in my ear. So I hope I get my money back on that. So that's going to be another trip. And I was hoping that would be my last trip to the shops for Christmas but we're going to have to go back to return them. Anyway, this has been a really rambly vlog. Also, I'm just going to say a lot of these vlogs will just be me talking to you or showing you things around the home. I'm not fully confident. I did vlog in public last, I want to say in the summer, but maybe not, or last year. Um, no. Did I vlog in holiday? Yes, I did, but it weren't speaking. So I haven't properly vlogged in public since probably two years ago. So I'm not as confident, which me I should be more confident than I, because I'm older. But 
but I need to get back into swing a bit. Um, but to be honest, I'm not going to be going out a lot. I will just be doing Christmassy stuff around the house. Um, so if you're not into this, then you probably won't enjoy my vlogs. But if you just like homey videos, which are always my favourite, then hopefully you will enjoy. So excuse my appearance and my greasy hair, but I'm going to wash that soon. But it is Sunday morning and it's not the morning actually now, it's half two. Um, I've not done a lot today. Originally I woke up I think about half nine and I was just doing some browsing on the internet looking up phone cases because I've got a new phone which I'm going to get to in a minute um, and then from about 11 o'clock till about two I've been setting up my new phone. Um, this looks very blue toned. Um, so anyway so my mum has been on the phone to Virgin Media for me and I've kind of just been a cider sorting out how to insert the sim card. And then after that, since then, I've just been setting it up, doing all the apps, adding all phone numbers, um, basically everything to do setting up with the phone. Um, so yeah, what I've got is, I've got the iPhone SE, and I'm so excited. Wait, it has still got like, the backing on the, the covering on the back, um, but it's the gold one. It's 128 gigabytes, which is crazy. Um, I got it in Argos on Black Friday sale. I got the last one in the whole of Leicestershire. And there was a massive palaver on that morning as well. Luckily, I had the morning off school because I did order one, but then um, it kind of froze. So then we rang up Argos and I rang up my bank and then they kind of just weren't really corresponding with each other. Um, so then I cancelled the order, but luckily there was the last one in, which was this. So that shows how rare they are because it is now the, like, the oldest version, I'm pretty sure, of the iPhone that's out. And you're probably saying, well, you could have got the 8, you could have got the 7, even the 6. But I just don't really like the look of them. And plus, it's so much money for what it was. I paid up front for this because I got it from Argos. I got it for, I want to say, £380. It's originally £450, so it was a great saving. And then the SIM card I got um, was £20 in from Virgin Media. £20 a month for unlimited data, unlimited calls, and unlimited text. Like, I've never seen... Um, a package so good I've been looking for about a year at different deals and I've never even seen unlimited data to be an option let alone be that cheap so I had to snap it up but I've only just now put it all together and I'm so happy with it I now need to order a case for it and um, but basically the phone I did have was my Blackberry that I had for about five or six years and so old that they don't even make Blackberries anymore so I'm so happy to be finally getting rid of this um, and also I can now have Wi-Fi when I'm not in the house and I don't have to carry around my iPod which is this because my iPod is basically what I use used to use for everything else apart from calling and text which I used on this so now I only have to carry one device around and I'm so 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 happy and just setting it up I'm like oh my god like there's some amazing stuff on this like again it's the SE so it might not be like that advanced is the 7 but for me it is because I've been on a Blackberry and even on my iPod Touch because I haven't been able to like update it I've got so many old apps I haven't even been able to see all the Snapchat photos or even Instagram stories that's how old of a version I was on I'm pretty sure I was on like iOS 6 on my iPod so there's just so many cool things on here and I'm loving it and I can't wait to start using it. In my advent calendar today I got a mascara and it is called the Exception exceptional definition and the packaging it's like ooh, metallic blue and yeah i can't wait to give this a go i have got quite a few number seven mascaras i think i've got like four because they've been in previous gift sets and the advent calendar i got in 2015 um and some of them have been not too good but then there was one that i really liked i forgot the name of it um but that looks like i'm gonna like this I've just decorated the tree and um, the lights were already on it but decorated with baubles and beads and we've got an angel at the top which we have had for absolutely years probably since I've been born and then my mum kind of decorated the downstairs last night these are mine and my sister's stockings I love them again we've had them like since we were born and they're so cute um what else have we got <laughs> simple lights in the window and then the fireplace you got some 
bit more cute with stuff down here. They are photos and I think there's some stuff out in the landing, yes. Just a few bits of tinsel and all that jazz. So it's now half past nine and I finally have good lighting. And that reason is because I'm gonna flip my camera around. I have been filming a video and it's my Soap Makeup Revolution one. Flip that around again. I look presentable for the first time in the whole of Vlogmas. Um, well, that is the three days. Um, and yeah, this was my makeup for it. Yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to sign off for this first weekly vlog. And I know I've only been vlogging for three days, but I'm actually really loving it already. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it too because I don't know, I just really liked showing this. I suppose I've had a lot to show you. Um, and hopefully as the weeks go on, I'm going to have even more to show you because there were some things that I thought... So I'll show you in this vlog and I thought no, this vlog's already long enough and it's only been three days but I feel like this vlog's kind of the introductory vlog to get me kind of to tell you what's happening and just get back started. I'm going to go now as it's going to be even longer and I've just been rambling all vlog, or vlog, all of this video. Um, so if you stuck around for now then there's probably not many of you but thank you um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye! I always get really high pitched.